Hey guys, it's Stony W, and I'm going to show you how to play video games in the backseat of your car while parking. This is a quick DIY project. It takes about five minutes to set up and five minutes to take down. Initially, it probably takes like 10 or 15 minutes, but it has an articulated arm, and you can play your Xbox One in the backseat of your car or any other video game system if you want. Because I'm actually using a you know generic high definition 1080p monitor. Now this 13 inch monitor, they also have a 15 inch as well. It just runs on USB-C and you know you could actually use your smartphone to communicate with it or you can actually plug it into a mini uh, HDMI adapter on the side. So either way, it's powered by USB you know, power and uses very little power. So you actually plug this into your car if you wanted to. And that's how I've been using that for the past few weeks in terms of watching videos in my car. Of course, you also plug it into your, you know, laptop, you know, to extend your monitor. And it is a very crisp, beautiful display, which is really, really cool. It's nice and bright too. You also plug it into your smartphone as well as a, you know, external device but i've been using it and it's in the center of the dash i didn't think it was very convenient because you know you can't really see it while playing so i got myself an articulating arm that mounts to the uh, seat posts of the rear passenger seat so i could actually put this in the center of the seat or tilt it or anything like this and put it in the center of the, between the seats so i could share it with a friend if i'm watching a friend with, together with a friend i got this 13 inch um, monitor but you can also get like a 15 inch but yeah, 13 inch is a good size because this articulated arm is meant for an iPad, a very large iPad, so it works perfectly fine. And the monitor is very light, so you can move it around and tilt it and everything else like that. And it's pretty sturdy too. It actually grips it with a spring on the top and bottom. So I was kind of worried about that at first, but after using it for the past week, it's been pretty cool and pretty sturdy. I would not use this while driving. I would take everything apart because that I don't think that iPad holder can actually hold all that stuff. I am using a... 500 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. Of course, it's limited to 150 watts because of that cable. You can always plug that into a um, directly to a 12 volt. I also have a 150 watt um, mini power inverter, and that's pretty awesome too. I usually use that for my laptop if I'm just running one single laptop. But this guy can actually power like probably two laptops and stuff if not any if any problem. And the reason why I'm using a pure sine wave um, inverter is because the Xbox doesn't have a battery or anything. So I want clean power to go to the Xbox. I don't want it to burn anything or damage anything inside. So um, another thing is that the Xbox is very, very useful because all it needs is power from AC as well as a one video cable. And that's pretty straightforward. Powered it on, I have that Xbox powered in from there. And there's a big fan in the back of the inverter as well to keep it cool. Overall, it's been pretty cool while running it. Turning it on for the side, it does a little green light that turns on. I'm actually using the monitors um, USB power supply that I came with, I could probably just plug it into that inverter's power supply. But at the same time, powering up with uh, my remote and you know hitting it, it basically turns on. Now, there it goes. <laughs> wow, <laughs> pretty cool. Anyways, I've been using this for the past what week and a half, two weeks, and it's been pretty fun. Especially when I'm charging my car, when I'm waiting for like an hour or two to charge the car, or if I'm waiting for someone, it's a lot. Of, it just takes like five minutes to just put this on the floor, set it up, and have it done. If I wanted to, I could move the Xbox to the front where the passenger side is in the front of the uh, front seats so that I could save the footwell space for, well, for storage or for feet. But at the same time, you know, by myself, I just leave it on the side and when I need it, I just put everything in a bag and be done with it. Um, a little more detail on that articular arm. You can actually lock in the different um, joints and area to make sure it's nice and stable. But again, I would take this apart you know, while um, driving. You don't want to use this while driving because I don't think, you know, extend it, it's going to be kind of wobbly and you don't want to damage your monitor and stuff. So anyways, power supplies on the side as well as controls. There's also this cable, of course, cable management. You know, I should probably get little longer cables so I could run the cables, you know, along the floor and so it won't be, you know, cluttering, you know, directly across. But if it's just me, <laughs> I could just leave it like this and just play for about an hour or so while I'm waiting for the car to charge. Of course, the good thing about this is that I can articulate the arm near the center. So if let's say you're sharing the screen or sharing a movie with a friend, you could totally just watch a movie while your car is charging or you're waiting for something. And, you know, it'd be pretty cool. It doesn't get too hot. It's I've used it for about an hour and it just stays warm. There's a big fan in the back. If you want to listen to the fan, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, that's really about it. Super simple to install. Very, very useful. And, you know, especially if you want to use this for your laptop as a secondary screen while you're working in your car, 
very very useful and stuff you don't necessarily have to use this for video gaming you could totally use this for like a secondary monitor but who am i kidding this is great for video gaming anyways guys this is Tony w i hope this is helpful to you and i'll see you next time thanks for watching Bye bye